Uh, yes. Guru Re Brahma, Guru Re Vishnu, Guru Re Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha, Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. <coughs> So, Gita, we are studying the second chapter, that second chapter that gives us, that is just a summary of the entire Gita, and other chapters are extensions, other chapters are extensions of it so in this uh, chapter we are studying in parts you see that number number after a phrase means the worst number so we have studied how the seeker becomes how the seeker becomes defensive. You don't understand, I have to earn money, you know, that's why I'm into anxiety. The modern day excuses. So we understand that we rationalize our problems. <clears throat> so like this, we continue to move ahead. And last week, we understood what exactly is the karma yoga. Karma Yoga. And then Krishna, the master, advises people who are suffering what they should do. So we will pick up the 44th verse that summarizes what exactly is the Karma Yoga. Understand, Karma Yoga, we say service. It is not that in your studio I prepare a cup of coffee for everyone, I clean your studio, and that is karma yoga. Normally it is understood. So it is a misunderstanding. So if we look at the 44th verse, Ha bhogeshwarya prasaktanam Taya apahat chetatam Vyavasaya Atmika Buddhi Vyavasaya Atmika Buddhi Samadhona Vidhiyati <coughs> First thing that we have understood that the Karma Yoga is also the Buddhi Yoga, Yoga of Intellect. So when we say Yoga of Intellect or Yoga of Knowledge, it means my mind or intellect should follow a pattern that help me to settle in the karma yoga. Bhoga Eshwarya Prasaktanam Daya Apahar Chetasam That is a universal principle of yoga. We just, uh, I just uh, gave you one verse, a definition of Ishvara. Klesha karma vipaka ashai param rishta. What is the meaning? That, that seeker or that yogi or that higher masters, they are beyond action and inaction means the doership and the enjoyership <clears throat> so it means mentally intellectually understanding that i am not the doer now see if i'm the doer what happens who does all the actions body Body is the doer and the enjoyer. Body experiences the pleasure. 
even if you have a billion dollar, that does not go beyond the body. See that? See the beauty? You have a big mansion. It does not go beyond or deeper inside the body. It remains at the body. All kinds of pleasure, luxuries and comforts. See that? Do I really understand it? So when I understand it, then what happens? My mind that is living in anxiety drops down. So the meaning of this phrase, it summarizes the entire karma yoga. So it means I'm doing, I'm as a doer and the enjoyer, I'm doing all kinds of works. But remember one thing, the fruit of the karma, the fruit of the action is not permanent. It is always impermanent. This is the first message, master giving, chasing them leads when I'm constantly changing, chasing, 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 chasing. So what happens? That is the meaning I'm awfully busy, awfully busy plus crazy. Because the mind is constantly on the run. Then I made it a habit. Then I disturb my sleep. I wake up exhausted. And I sleep exhausted. Why? For the sake of pleasure. Where the pleasure is? Outside. Master says, give a break. Do you really understand? Being a doer and the experiencer will not help you to get the happiness birth after birth. So he is pointing the karma yoga, the law of karma is also introduced. If you continue to do, so I'm going little deviating, it is a part of this verse, but one of the most beautiful principle, <clears throat> as long as I think I am the body, I will continue to suffer. There is no end of suffering. And the moment I am the body, I, I am the doer and I am the experiencer. So the master says, non-thinking means I do not think rightly. I do not put the right knowledge in my intellect and then I perform the action, I suffer, I have to suffer. What is non-thinking? Means I don't want to understand the purpose of the body. Now think of the body for a while. You will understand that clearly. Body is subjected to birth, growth, maturity, health, illness, old age, gone to the cremation ground. Body is subjected, isn't it? Whether it is this body or that body, whether you have the most beautiful body, you are Miss Universe or you are Mr. Universe, the body is subjected to this. Everyone's body is subjected to this. So never create an inferiority complex that you don't have a beautiful body. And don't be egoistic. See that? So the, now the mind is going inside. So when the mind goes inside, body is an instrument. But one more secret is there. As long as the body is subjected to change, I will continue to suffer. <clears throat> and as long as it means what? Do I want to add more suffering? by being the doer and the experiencer? 
this cycle continues because the more I become the doer and the experiencer, I accumulate impressions that becomes the vasana and the vasana gives me the next birth again and again and again. Drop this idea and wrong notion that I am the body. So when we, in the mind which is pure and clear, you are doing for the sake of doing. The way the child plays with the toy and sleeps, same way if we live our life in that way. Not a tag of being a doer and the experiencer. Karma Yoga is done. Live your life 100% today, wherever you are living. Living with your honey, 100%. Living without honey, 100%. You reach to the state of a karma yoga, where what happens, you are dropping the wrong notion that you are the doer and the experiencer. You are dropping the notion that this action today will bring permanent peace and happiness. It has never happened. It is not going to happen. Why? Master says karma is naturally defective. No, I'm teaching you. Some of you say, what a crazy guy. I don't understand. So every karma has opposite result, profit and loss, victory and defeat, pain and pleasure. You know, if someone of some of you say, oh, that's crazy. I don't understand. I don't believe you. So that gives you a feeling of insert. And someone of some of you say, oh, what a great talk. The preappreciation, you see the cut. Karma is the same. So you get rid of these challenges. You are just playing your role in the world. And in that process of playing your role, you are evolving. You are, you are moving towards self-discovery. It can be done from today, from here and now. And the moment you have the right notion, the right thought in the intellect, and then it performs the karma. Karma becomes a play and a joy. Now we come to, there are five, four or five verses. Guidance to those people who are suffering. Do you feel your suffering? <laughs> Then only these verses are for you. <laughs> Otherwise, huh? so the Krishna gives you a precise instructions what to do, how to do. It is a prescription for those people who are suffering. And that leads us to the understanding of Jnana Yoga, the path of knowledge. So now see the concept in the principle starts pouring into our mind from the Master. Tregunya Vishaya Veda Nestre Gunya Bhavarjuna Nirdovanda Nitya Sattu Astha Niryoga Chema Atmavan. So what is the meaning? The action of the three gunas. What we studied in the previous verse, that you are not the doer and the enjoyer. So Krishna is proving why you are not a doer and enjoyer. See that? So it is a little deeper understanding. But it is also a summary. Tregunya Vishaya. Oh, Tregunya Vishaya. What is means? Tregunya means three gunas. What are the three gunas? 
Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. There are three qualities present in everything in the entire universe that is changing. Body, three gunas. Mind, three gunas. Intellect, three gunas. Huh? And your house, three gunas. Your car, three gunas. Three guna, three guna. The entire world is created out of the three gunas. Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. Sattva, knowledge in the joy. Rajas, activity and indulgence. Activity and indulgence. Tamoguna, inertness and opposing the right knowledge. Did you understand that? Are you listening to me with a hundred percent attention, with an intention to receive the knowledge? Your mind is in Satoguna, it will receive the knowledge. What I have to do? Whether you listen to me or you do not listen. No, masters of Eastern wisdom, you know, are very carefree. Now, if your mind is full of indulgence while listening and restless, what happens? You don't listen to me, even if you are present physically. It has nothing to do with you being a doer and an enjoyer. It is happening because of the three gunas. Can you stop your body to remain sweet 16? It is happening because of three gunas. Understanding that. Understanding. You see that? Oh, this body is subjected to the three gunas. It has to be there. Can I force myself to sleep? No, it is because of tamoguna. Am I full of energy as enthusiasm? It is because of rajoguna. I have to simply understand and switch on and switch off mode. I have to simply switch on the mode of satoguna that helps you to receive the right knowledge here and now. Feeling sleepy and yawning, tamoguna. <laughs> See that? Tegunya vishaya veda. Nerdavandavaha netya sattvastha neri yoga chema atmavana. So the, if you see the Arvindo's translation, the action of the three gunas is the subject matter of the Eastern wisdom. But do thou become free from the triple guna? What I have to do? Just go beyond the three gunas without the dualities ever based in the true being, without getting or having possessed of the self. You are already free. You enjoy your life from here and now. Three gunas. Tre tre gunya vishaya. Uh, so first, first understanding, triguna. Now you understand beyond the three gunas. Now you, I have understood the three gunas. It is happening because of the word. The car is running because of the four wheels and the engine and the and the fuel. Body is running because of the three. There is nothing I can add that I am a doer and I am the enjoyer. It is happening because of the three gunas. Hi, here, you see that? Arvindo translation, I have sent it. I think Arvindo translation of verse number 45 is this one. So, did you understand that? So now first, when you understand the three gunas, and you, now you understand that these three gunas is a common factor, whatever is changing in the world. That is why I cannot control to remain sweet 16. Huh? Look at me and John. John has little gray hair. I have more. I cannot stop it.
the first point of understanding. So now once you understand, it is all the play of the three gunas. I become angry because of tamoguna. If I rise from tamoguna to rajoguna, the anger will be gone now. It, there will be a lot of excitement. So I keep the enthusiasm. I drop the indulgence. I move to the satoguna. So when I move to the satoguna, then I can transcend the satoguna. I will live into the state of meditation here and now without practicing. In karma yoga, there is also a meditation. So that is why he uses the word beyond the three gunas. Uh, beyond the three gunas. Now, I'm not going there. There are a lot of things uh, to be understood. Otherwise, the entire hour will be used for only this verse. So let us go to the verse number 26. Verse number 26 is Yavan Artha Udapane Sarvata Samaplu Lodake Tavan Sarvesh Vedeshu Brahman Brahmanasya Vigyanata. Now, see, as much use as there is in the well with the water and the flood on every side, so much is there in all the Vedas, all the Eastern wisdom for the Brahmin, for the real self, who has the knowledge. So let us understand this verse, al verse also. Uh, it, it says, it addresses the seeker, Vigyanath. Vigyanath, you are a beginner of yoga. Leave aside for a while the Patanjali Yoga Sutra. You are just a beginner of yoga and you blame the society, the world outside, you blame your honey. Mind is still outside. What should I do? I should do karma yoga. I should understand what is karma and I should leave the doer and the enjoyership. So when I perform the karma, leaving the idea of a wrong notion of being the doer and the enjoyer, what happens? By doing the karma yoga, you are purifying the mind. From there, the real yoga begins. So now those whose mind is not purified, and you say, let me sit in meditation, nothing will happen. You will blame all teachers are crazy. Why? Because the mind is subjected outside. So it is karma yoga, I have to do it. But then the mind is still distracted. Then the second level comes. Huh? Second level comes what? Upasana. It is known as the word Upasana. Upasana means that in order to focus the mind, you have to use the different mantra for the Japa Yoga in order to focus the mind. So what the Master is saying, now go to the verse. The river is full of water. You have to extract only that which is required in your life. If you take access, it will not help you. Who guides you on the path? The teacher says, teacher checks you. Maybe you can understand he takes the entire life history and he perceives that you are running after all those different activities in the life then he will guide you those practices of meditation which will help you to drop the wrong notions and purify the mind. So meditation is one, but has different steps. That is one way to put it. So what he says, who has become, so when you realize, huh, then you vigyanat, here the person being addressed, is taken to be a self-realized master who has bought to the culmination the knowledge is received. Uh, the last word, if you see, Vigyanat. Now that person who is full of wisdom and the knowledge, who understood, this is what it is. So the process is, those who are suffering, 
when people come to me, I check them and I understand based on the Eastern psychology, based on the Gita. And I said, OK, this guy needs this. One guy just came. I have total insecurity. I'm always crazy. I have a lot of fears. When I go to go outside with my pet, my mind imagines that I both will be crushed by the car. At the same time, he says, I am extremely smart and intelligent. What kind of an intelligence you have? That you constantly imagine that you are going to die, you will be crushed. Where is the problem lies? Tamoguna, you are opposing the right knowledge. So accordingly, I have to give the practice. Now I have stopped using the modern psychology for ah, guiding people. One of the most famous verse, which is repeated by a lot of people, and I think most of the American authors and Western people have reported. This is the verse number 27, 47. Karmani vadhikarasti ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalhetu bhurmati. Sangastu Akarmani. Now see, uh, do you keep that knowledge of the previous two sutras? I believe so. First sutra that we covered today, I am not the doer and the enjoyer. Second sutra, Karma Phala, fruits of the actions. Third sutra, uh, the entire journey of this activities in the world is because of the three gunas. We understood that. Now come to this sutra. Krishna says what? Krishna, our master, says, I have a right to choose action. I have no right to choose its fruits. So what should I do? Become a Hollywood actor in day-to-day -day life. What the Hollywood actor does? Play its role. Forgets it. The Hollywood actor playing a role of a criminal and knocks the door and then tells his, Honey, I'm going to kill you. I'm a criminal. Does he do that? So I am a teacher only for one hour. Let me play my role and finish. Don't keep the tag that I'm a teacher. Do you see? You, you are in front of the honey. Ah, yes, play your role of a being a best honey in the world. Play your role does not mean you are making fun internally, intellectually. With the wisdom, you play your role. Your duty. Are you getting it? The way the Hollywood actor. Karmani vadikaraste ma phaleshu. Forget about the fruit that you get. I come to you and I say, hey, I love you. How dare you love me? Finished. Result does not depend on me. Why should I worry? Karmane vadhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana. Let not the fruits of thy works be thy motive. Sri Arvindo's good translation. It's not your, don't keep that motive. Just live your life. Play your role. Hall, become the Hollywood actor everywhere. But you can only become the best Hollywood actor if you have the right knowledge in the head. If you keep the wrong notion, you cannot do that. So the knowledge must also be there. Neither let there be any attachment to the inactivity. Now he is also saying, he is warning. He is warning. Okay, if you say that, if I'm not the doer and the enjoyer, 
then I will sleep 23 hours. I will wake up only for one hour to do my daily chores. I will eat the food and I'll sleep now. So he is warning. He is saying it does not mean that you fall into total letharginess or inactivity. As long as I am given the body, I have to act. I have to live. You cannot get out of the activity even for a single moment in your life. Do you see that? Well, that is good. Then keep in the mind, become aware. I am not the doer. I am not the enjoyer. It is all done by the three, act, three gunas. Sato, Rajo, and Tamoguna. Then what should I do? Let me play my role, perform my action, and enjoy your life. A Hollywood actor, when they perform their action, uh, they play their role, they are not stressed. They act as if they are in stress. They are not killing anyone, but they act as if they are killing See that. Can I live, start living that life? A great message by the Gita. Why you get into anxiety? Because you have a certain motivation inside your head. Motivation, unlimited desire fulfillment. So you drop the motive. Hey, I love you so much, and you come and say, I hate you. Finish. Now I don't have any fruit, not desiring any fruit. But I understand why I made this statement. I love you because I feel the hollowness inside. Let me feel that hollowness and emptiness inside before I love anyone. Now I see I love you. I'm abundance. Love is in abundance inside. Don't think that the Buddha is doing, or these great masters are doing some favor to us. They reach to a state of awakening, and they are full of love and compassion inside. They cannot control it. It pours down. And we think as if they are very good. They are, you know, showing compassion. It will happen to all of us also. Karmani, karma. That, that is the message here. See that. Now let us go a little deeper. Aha, now comes beautiful definition of yoga. After having laid down the basic principles, do you remember? I am not the doer and the enjoyer. Yes, three gunas. It all depends on the three gunas. I give you one example. You cannot stop the growth of this body. We have tried. We can. We, what we say, when we try, we say we can delay the aging process. Now see the wrong notion inside it. I am. You are 80 years old. You have delayed the aging process, created a wrong notion in the mind with a lot of stuff on the face, delayed the aging process, and now you introduce yourself to me. What introduction? I have four kids and uh, ten grandkids. So I know your age. <laughs> What is the fun of delay, delaying the aging process? Won't you introduce me to your grandkids? Yes. And then I say, I am 60 years old, and your mind instantly says, oh, my son is 61. Then I know you're definitely your age. I'm delaying the aging process. Come on. Don't live with the wrong notion. You understand that point? <laughs> we live, you live with the wrong notion. You are crazy. Then you have to suffer. No, don't tell. 
let us follow the American way. Don't tell the real A's, but don't live with the wrong notion. You see that? So now, after what a beautiful definition. This is the real definition of yoga. Yoga stha kuru karmani, 48th verse. Yoga stha kuru karmani, sangam tyaktva dhananjaya, siddha asiddha yo samobhutva, samatvam yogucchate. What is the definition of yoga? Moving, running with your two hands upside down. That is not yoga. Krishna is saying, Samatvam yoga uchyate. What is yoga? Samatvam. What is samatvam? Equanimity of the mind. What is the equanimity of the mind? This mind now is not at all influenced by anything happening outside, happening to the body. Equanimity, the mind that is not affected by likes and dislikes, success and failure, this is what the Master is saying. Fixed in yoga, do thy action. So fixed in yoga means? In my mind, there is a equanimity. There is a peace. Why there is a peace? This mind is settled in yoga. How it is settled in yoga? It is not influenced and dictated by whatever is happening outside because it is subjected by the three gunas. Can you recall the previous sutra? It is, it is subjected by the three gunas, three activities. Is it is does it belong to me? No, it belongs to the universe. How I'm performing an action, I'm playing my role, not affected by victory and defeat, profit and loss. Now see the master what the master is saying. Yoga kuru karmani. My mind is settled in that state of equanimity and calmness. Sangam tyaktva dhananjaya. Leaving all the attachment and detachment in the world, including the body, mind. Siddha siddhayo means success and failure. Today you like my talk, tomorrow you will say, hell with you, both are good. But if you are a seeker, you will never say so. That is also good. Why? Because you are evolving. Siddha or Siddha, you no, you you advertise intensive workshop for permanent peace, eighty dollars. Nobody turns up. You get upset. That is no. You are not settled in yoga. Yes, yeah, not settled in you. Honey, I love you. Honey says, I hate you. You are affected. You are not in yoga. Siddha asiddha yo samo bhutva samatvam yogucchate. Can you see that? The kite is flying without the thread. You have that life. You have a total freedom. So when it is attached to, a thread means some attachment, mind is not in equanimity, some detachment, the mind is not in equanimity. What a beautiful verse. What is a great definition of yoga? Yoga kuru karmani sangam tyaktva dhananjaya siddha siddhayo samo bhutva samatvam yogucchate. What a beautiful way. To understand. What is attachment? This attachment will never come if the mind has no liking for a person or a thing. But why there is a liking? Ask yourself. We do not think why we like. 
why we dislike. So because of non-thinking, ignorance stays in the mind and the ignorance causes the suffering. Can you tell me if you like yellow color, why you like a yellow? Say, for example, John likes yellow, Kate likes red. You cannot give me an answer that why you like red and why you like yellow. We don't think about it. We just go mechanically and habitually. It causes the attachment because of likes and dislikes. The attachment and detachment causes the desire. Desire prompts you to become the doer and the experiences which you are not because it is happening by the three gunas. Are you getting it? It is happening by the three gunas. That is why I gave an example. Can you remain sweet 16? Show me. After all, something is going to happen as body grows. <laughs> Let me accept it gracefully. Oh, you have five grandchildren. You look so young. No, you look crazy. I have known your age 100%. Do you see the wrong notion? We carry that wrong notion. That is why we don't have the equanimity of the mind. I can give you hundreds of examples. Hundreds, hundreds of examples in day-to-day -day life. So when people come to me for guidance and coaching, I check everything, I check every statement. And I align with these principles. And I know where you stand for, why you have a problem. I don't tell you because, you know, I have to... <laughs> I have to keep some secret with me. So, see, let us go a little deeper. Uh -huh. Karma in Karma Yoga and Ordinary Life. And I'll see. So first, there is that yoga that is explained is a Jnana Yoga plus Karma Yoga. But all is yoga. You can even Patanjali has explained the same definition in different sutras. Durin Hayavaram Karm the work are far inferior to yoga of intelligence. Now see that. Now understand another. Look at the beauty and the, uh, the, 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 I would say the subtleness or what you say, the deeper understanding. What are you saying? Durin hi avaram karma buddhi yoga dhananjaya. Dhananjaya is the name of the seeker. Buddha Sharanam Anavicha Krapana Falhetava Works, action, are far inferior to yoga of intelligence, or you can put it yoga of knowledge. O Dhananjaya, desire rather. They refuse in the intelligence. Don't take a refuse in anxiety, stress, wrong notion, ignorance. Means, don't take any action without properly understanding. When you understand this is the action I'm going to take and I'm not aspiring for any fruits of an action, let me play the role of an Hollywood actor here also. Let me perform my role and be happy. So when you perform your role, you are always happy. Uh, rather refuse in the intelligence, poor and wretched souls are they who make the fruit of their work, the object of their thoughts and activities. So what happens? 
I'm talking to you whether if the John will be happy or not. Come on, pay your attention on your understanding and give a talk. Finished. Oh, whether Kate will leave me next week. Let her leave me. Understand that. Understand, be clear. So when I perform all my actions with a motivation inside, with an expectation inside, I have started the journey of my stress and suffering. Even I have to take action tomorrow. I have to meet Brandy tomorrow, but I have a lot of thoughts of expectations in my head. What will happen? I have already started anxiety and stress in my head. Until I meet her tomorrow, and tomorrow when I meet, she doesn't respond, she reacts, everything is gone, then I return home with the frustration, suffering. So what the Master is saying, works are far inferior to yoga of knowledge, yoga of understanding. So I understand. Let me play a role. What is that role? I have to meet Brandy tomorrow. What is the agenda? Here is the agenda. Let me explain the agenda. Not getting affected by anything. Look at the beauty of the journey of yoga. Sometimes we have misconception. I have to sit for one hour of meditation every day out of 23 hours that I have already decided to live in stress and then one hour becomes a burden. Then I have to do this karma yoga. I cannot succeed in meditation. Forget about it. When I have that motivation, when I have those thoughts of wrong notions, the Master says, come on, follow the path of Karma Yoga, but with understanding. I'm giving very brief. Every verse takes long. You see that? So what the Master is saying, you are wretched. You should be pitying. I should have pity on you because you are doing all your activities with a motive of expectation inside your head. It is bound to make you suffer. Question will come to your mind, then what will happen? You are performing a karma, you will definitely get result. One, now you don't have any expectation, you focus on the karma, your level of creativity will go up, you will perform the action like a Hollywood actor, your creativities, your enthusiasm goes up, you don't have that ego that you are doing the action, it is bound to give you the best result possible. Can it start happening from today? It will take some time. The knowledge is settled in the intellect slowly. Knowledge is realized in stages. The seed does not become a tree overnight. That is why the Karma Yoga, I have to perform my role. Just now I heard, honey, we will go to Costco. Yes, we will go. Where is the problem? I have to perform my role. We'll buy the following stuff. Yes, we will buy it. Where is the problem? Now see that if your mind carries the impression of a fight that took place a month ago, I don't have any fight. I'm just citing an example. Now, that thought will pop up in your mind. Honey, will you go to Costco? I know I'm very busy. And you have started the problem. Did you understand? This is what is happening. So by performing the Karma Yoga, it will take some time. The seed is does not become a tree overnight. Knowledge has to be realized in stages.
<laughs> see that. See the beauty. Let us go to the another sutra. Uh, no, let us go back to the one, the sutra that, that is the definition of yoga. Yogastha kuru karmani sangam tyaktva dhananjaya. Such a beautiful. I sing mentally. I used to sing mentally and I said, oh, where are you, my mind? My mind, where are you? Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Why I'm performing an action? No, perform an action like a Hollywood actor so that the tag of you are the doer and the experiencer drops. Why? Because this body is composed of the three gunas. Profit loss. Every karma has its result. They are opposite in nature. Profit loss. Pain, pleasure. Success, failure. It is bound to be there in pairs of opposites. So when it is happening, the pairs of opposites, then you don't own the ownership of these fruits. Don't own. No ownership. Now there is no ownership. Mind is free. Success comes. Thank you. Failure comes. Thank you. I will do it again. Profit comes. Thank you. Loss comes. Thank you. I will do it again. Yogastha Kuru Karmani. Fixed in yoga. How you fixed in yoga? Samatvam. Equanimity of the mind or the intellect. Whatever you say. Samatvam. Samatvam means equanimity. But how come I settle in the state of equanimity? I keep the world outside. World, you remain outside. Don't enter within me. Then where is the anxiety? Where is the stress? Honey says you are crazy. Keep that sentence outside. Tell your mind the world cannot affect me. It comes in stages. Did I tell you the story of the great one great master who lived in South India? And he, he, he still gave some corporate leadership program. And the first sentence he says, uh, thousands of people gather there. So thousands, he tells, you know, stand up. Now you say to me that you are crazy. See, see the way to make you understand. The moment everyone says you are ma crazy master and he shows his both the hands. The moment everyone says crazy, he clenches the fist. He laughs and he says, that sentence I have caught in my fist, I prevented it to enter into my head and the heart. One example. Someone says you crazy. Is no he or she cannot give you a certificate. Why to worry? Now apply the same in your house. You are happy. Apply in relationship. You are happy. You cannot have a big face. Samatvam, one pointer to the samatvam. Second pointer to the samatvam. When I understand that this attachment and detachment, the liking and disliking is a part of the ignorance. It has nothing to do with the knowledge. Then what happens? Then the mind is not craving for what it likes. Mind is not reacting to what it dislikes. It does not lead you to unlimited desires. Samatvam yogucchate. Then you are not affected by success in the failure, profit in the loss. Siddha siddhayo samubhutva. 
samatvam equanimity is yoga simple word simple definition but when equanimity is yoga when the mind is settled in the knowledge yoga stha kuru karmani sangam tyaktva dharanjaya but if we are crazy then the mind makes us crazy because we are affected by it we are not in equanimity samo bhutva siddha asiddhayo samo bhutva link it why we have a body we have a body because of the previous birth previous birth we had lot of sanskaras the impressions this is an epitome replica of all my past impressions needs to be exhausted in this so now i th think that i am the body it means i am the doer and the enjoyer see that pay attention to this so if i am the doer and the enjoyer then what happens mind says when you are the doer and enjoyer then i like John, I don't like brandy, so likes and dislikes will enter. Oh, this is an example. I like everyone. I love everyone. Do you see that likes and dislikes will come? Now, this mind constantly pops up with the likes and dislikes, which causes the attachment and detachment. Now, you are constantly, your mind is in the mode of attachment and detachment. So, what will happen? Do we use the same example? John and Brandy both are there. My mind naturally escapes from Brandy, will move near to John. See that? See the example? So what is happening? I'm creating the ripples of impressions. Ripples of impressions, 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 impressions. Constantly I'm depositing, I'm accumulating. What is the cause of all this stuff? in the mind it is non thinking i am not thinking what i am doing and i claim i am very intelligent master is hammering krishna is hammering on our head think what i will get by liking one or disliking one tell me do you like hot or cold if you say that you like cold it means you like to live in a temperature huh zero or below zero right you like hot oh maybe 50 60 70 it is the same thermometer there are no opposites same thermometer going down cold going up hot going down dislike going up likes going down failure going up success it is only one thing can i see that when i see that i am already in the state of equanimity very good success or failure profit or loss pain and pleasure this is what the master is saying samatvam yoga chate samo bhutva success and failure oh it's a barometer same thermometer right it is located in the same straight line do you see that do you see it as a truth how can you see it when you think over it you drop the wrong notion today there is a failure i recognized it let me focus again continue my journey in the spirit of peace and happiness why i cannot stop doing karma but i will do the karma without the burden of being the doer and the enjoyer so that i remain my mind remains in peace and happiness from today itself and i can tell you with home you have grudge against 
those grudges will drop. From today itself, how can you prove that it is 100 degrees, zero degree? They are opposite. Are they really opposite? In a language, in a communication language, they appear opposite. They are same. Less heat means, less hot means cold. Huh? Less cold means hot. Degree. Less calmness, anxiety. Less anxiety is calmness. This is what the master is, how it happens by the three gunas. This is what is. Very good. John.